I oftentimes have trouble holding on to my mirrorless camera, and this creates really shaky shots, if not completely unusable shots. And while thinking about a solution to this, I somehow came over a YouTube video where somebody put a pistol grip on their mirrorless camera. I don't know what video this was, but this gave me an idea. Why not model and print a pistol grip? Here's an overview of the pistol grip that I've modeled. First of all, yes, I did indeed really <laughs> look look at a uh, a weapon, and I thought, hey, you know, people are able to grab onto this while they're firing giant projectiles, so maybe it'll be very good for grabbing onto a camera when I don't know, trying to hold it very still and shooting images because not projectiles. Sorry, I'm a bit sick. So let's look at the grip. If you can see from the side, it's a whole cluster of just sketches everywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, the base sketch basically looks something like this. where you have sort of an angled uh, handle with these sort of, um, I don't know what to call those, circular divots for your fingers and whatnot. And uh, this is just a mirrored loft, basically. So if I put it on the side, it looks like that. One side is a mirror of the other side. And I could turn off the mirror feature, but that'd just turn everything else off and do that. Hello. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, and my loft is more or less very complex. It looks something like this. Um, basically, for every ridge that you see here, I have a sketch for the... Uh, the peaks and the crest, right? Yeah. I don't really have them on the peaks, just the transition from this kind of uh, circular section to this circular section. I have a um, sketch there. I have a sketch in this uh, crest right here. And a sketch there. And this just continues on. And on the back end, I more or less try to make it circular so it fits in your hand nice and uh, the section circular as well if you can see that from the top and I'll show you how this assembles just in a sec basically you take this insert on the inside out you take this insert on the uh, inside out and uh, lower this screw and then this thumb wheel thing with the screw should come out pretty much as one piece. In order for me to tell you how to put it back together, I must first take it apart. Okay, let's get started. First I'm going to group the um, quarter 20 bolt with the thumb wheel. There we go. Jam that in. All right. This takes a little finesse, yeah. Sorry you can't see what I'm doing with my hands, but it's going in. There we go, now for the plastic insert. 
make sure you have the right end. Wait, no, I don't have the right end. Whoops. Yeah, that, that's not the right end. Make sure you have the right end in. Uh, the, the wider end should fit the outside, you know, the wider end for the uh, screw hole. Yeah, like, like that. The screw should be able to fit in completely. Let me get my screwdriver now. And I'll go ahead and tighten that up for you. Alrighty, and we can mount a camera on it now. Yep, it's tightened up. And to mount this, you just line it up and apply the thumb wheel. Make sure you give it a little more torque so it won't come off. I don't have the plastic um, rubber part on it yet. And there we go. You're ready to shoot with your camera.